my name is David Skerritt, I'm a managing partner. Um, I work for a mobile agency called Nimble Tank. They're um, the most awarded UK mobile agency as things stand, and we work with some great brands such as ASOS and BBC on mobile products that matter. First of all, I'm going to start with a quick quiz, um, then I'm going to get into what mobile is, and then I'm going to talk a lot about mobile creativity with some examples from Nike and Google and various other great ones out there. And then I'm going to close out with a few interesting trends such as messaging and real-time personalization. So really looking forward to it. Well, in the world I'm in, which is kind of creating experiences, the most interesting thing is that we're now dealing with CEOs, chief innovation officers, CTOs, rather than marketing managers. And what that means is we're talking about solving business problems. We're not talking about whether we should build an app or a website. I think mobile is no longer something that's a nice to have, it's a must have. So I remember, so I used to be ahead of mobile for five years. And let's say so two, three years ago, mobile traffic was maybe 10, 15%. Uh, now it's more like 50. In fact, John Lewis on Christmas Day, it was 72%. You don't turn away one in every two customers from your front door when you own a shop, nor should you do that when it comes to mobile. So it's a really interesting time to be working in mobile. We're seeing uh, really interesting opportunities. Ni Nike's a great example. Um, they have a mission as a business, which is if you have a body, you're an athlete, and everything they do, whether it's the sneakers you buy, or the wristbands, or the hoodies, or whatever it might be, through to the mobile apps are about empowering you to be a better athlete. And so I find it really interesting the way they've created an app ecosystem. So they have a running app, they have a fitness app, they have various other things that are in specific verticals, such as skateboarding, football. Each of them does a few things really, really well, but they don't sell, they just help you. I think that's a really interesting position to be in. Well, earlier there was a good comment from one of the panelists, which is that mobile is your kind of remote control for life now. And I think that's very much still the case. I certainly hope that in five years mobile battery life has improved. Um, and I think we're probably going to have more screens on us and we're going to have some more smart fabrics and clothing. But for me, I'm most interested in smart homes. So the idea of getting home and literally it all just being connected and things just happening for you. Everyone wants an easy life. We're very busy. That's the, actually the key resource we seem to be the most poor in now is time. So I'm really fascinated in how the mobile world and the world of smart homes are going to come together so that when I get home after a hard day in London, I've got a nice easy life of it. So the door opens for me, the lights come on, it's already warm, my food's in the oven and it's cooked. Um, maybe there's a robot making me something else, a smoothie. There's even a ferry now with a robot that makes you cocktails, so who knows what's going to happen. Privacy is the big concern and there's not enough being done. Um, the things you can find out from mobile apps that are given away for free are unbelievable. You can watch them using your app, you can find out all sorts of things that perhaps brands shouldn't have. Frankly, they're too busy to know what to do with the data, so that's probably helping us now, but I do think there'll be some legislation. Well, I think it's like anything. Um, new channels have great rates, so whether it's click-through rates, opt-in rates, and over time it gets eroded because people misuse those technologies. So I think you know the way that email has gone from a, a reasonably high-performance channel to pretty much blank, I mean, my e emails, unfortunately, is pretty much blanket spam, almost irrelevant. I spend most of my time deleting the emails I receive now, unfortunately. Um, and therefore, the click-through rates are really low. The read rates have gone down. The same's happened with push notifications. I have a three-year-old son. He's downloaded lots of games. I get too many notifications. People are becoming more aware of being interrupted and the data, so they opt out. And I think the, the off button is, is always a very powerful button. And as marketers, we always need to be mindful that with new technologies comes responsibility and that over time consumers will opt out if we don't get it right.